Hey gang, welcome back. FE Review, Mechanics of Materials. We've got a block with a load on it, okay? And we're going to assume that's an evenly distributed load there. What is the max allowable load P if the factor of safety is 1.5? This is our first factor of safety problem. And they give us sigma funny Y. That's yield stress, isn't it? It's 50 KSI. Here are your answer choices. Press pause, work it out. When you come back, I'm going to show you how to do it. Ready, set, go. All right, did you do it? Let's go team, okay? First thing, what area is that P acting over? Uh, I say it's 10 by 6, don't you? So area equals 60 inches squared, okay? And let's see, what is the first thing I'm going to do? I'm going to take that, that yield stress, right? So that the sigma that I'm going to work with is not going to be 50, because 50 is a factor of safety of 1, right? i got to adjust that. So I'm going to, I'm going to be safe. The factor of safety means I'm going to be safe. So is my stress that I'm going to be working with more than 50 or less than 50? Less than 50, of course. Okay? So, I've got that 1.5, so here's my choices. You can either multiply it by 50 or you can divide it, okay? It's, it's divide, isn't it? It's 50 KSI divided by 1.5 equals, I don't know, I don't know, 50 divided by 1.5, 33.33. So that is my allowable stress that I'm going to use, and now I'm at 1.5 safety factor. Now I can just solve it like a regular problem. What is the maximum allowable low P? Okay, well, here you go. Um, sigma equals P over A. Okay, sigma, I know, right here, 33.33 kips over inches squared is equal to P divided by 60 inches squared. Multiply that by that, and I'm left with kips, right? So times 60 equals, bam, 2,000. P equals 2,000 kipperonis. Answer A. There you go. Did you get it? All right, let's do another one.